What's up guys, so I know it's been a little while since I've done this camera thing, but I'm really happy to be doing it I'm gonna be posting God of War videos every other day again um, It's getting a little difficult making these type of videos But I do love God of War and I do want to keep it on the channel But I will be posting um, other content as well every other day um, So I'm really happy to be doing it um, Anyways, this video is going to be a uh, series about all the events that happened after God of War 3 Leading up to God of War PS4. Um, I want to do this because to this day I still get a ton of questions of you guys asking what happened to Kratos? But he's in Norse. Is it a different universe? Is it a soft reboot? So I want to continuously update this timeline as we get more info. Um, again, in this video, there will be no speculation. There will be no theorizing. This will be straight official words from either Santa Monica themselves, people who work within Santa Monica. If I missed anything, make sure to link me in the comment section down below. Tell me all that information, where it came from, and I'll be sure to put your name in the update video as we continuously update this timeline of events but let's get right into this video so our timeline is gonna start with Santa Monica Studios and the Lost Pages actually episode 5 I uploaded the full Lost Pages interview and story over on my channel I have a link in the description leading towards that video but uh, in that interview they slightly mentioned Kratos what happened after um, he destroyed everything in uh, Greek mythology and him traveling to Norse mythology. This is like the main question, so take a listen. So he makes a change of scenery. What brings him to Scandinavia? And what uh, what's his mindset going there? Uh, where we kind of left God of War 3, um, you know, there, there's we have kind of time jumps that, that happen over, over the course of time. And in my mind, and kind of the backstory in, in my mind and, and that we've talked about with Corey and, and, and among the three of us, you know, at that point, Kratos was a pariah. He's not welcome in Greece for the, the destru destruction he ca caused. He destroyed he destroyed practically the world around there, the Greek world there. Um, and so, like Rich was talking about, needing to change, needing to find a, a new place, he goes north. Um, he has kind of a chance to a choice to go south or north. It's kind of the same. It's kind of the same thing that we chose as, as a development time team is the choice to go south or go north, and, and Kratos went north. Yeah, he, he arrives very broken. He's a very broken man. You know, he's walked the earth for countless years. He's lost his mind and, and gotten it back again, but he basically, he's hit rock bottom when he gets to Scandinavia. And so getting there is kind of a chance to start again. And he's not looking to do anything more than escape his past okay. when he gets there. He's, he's not looking to find love or have a family or anything like that. He just wants to go to a place where he can cause no more harm to anybody else and he can just not be bothered by the world. I think, I think when he gets to Scandinavia, he fully ex expects to live out whatever years he, he has as an immortal, which is kind of forever, <laughs> uh, just live out the rest of his life in solitude. Yeah, isolation is what he wants. Unlike the previous games, it's not uh, focused on revenge. What motivates him this time? I think deep down, um, Kratos doesn't believe he can be redeemed. I think we, we use that kind of as a reflection of what uh, a lot of people feel about the character. Um, and based on the things he does, it, it's kind of a natural extension for that character to not think he can be redeemed. Um, so when he takes this journey, when he takes kind of this very personal journey with his son in this game it's it's really all about with Kratos he's focused on what they need to do you know on on just the the day-to-day -day, the the hour to hour minute to minute okay this is the goal ahead of me we're just going to achieve it this is the goal ahead of me we're just going to achieve it um and I, I don't think the Kratos really thinks too much about what they're doing other than the I have a goal set in mind I'm going to focus on that goal and then we're going to go back to being isolated and alone in our forest. Yeah, I think yeah, maybe subconsciously or on some level he does, you know, he has fears of, of yeah. how much of him is in his son, how much of the bad is there. Mm -hmm. And I think because they've been estranged and he doesn't know his son very well, it's an opportunity to see how screwed is this, how screwed up <laughs> is this kid? How much have yeah. I screwed him up? Yeah. Kratos has, uh, We've established kind of in, in our in our backstory for this for the setup to the game 
Kratos has largely been an absent parent. He hasn't yeah. been like gone. It's not like he's, you know, you know, some guy who lives off in the woods who comes around every once in a while. He lives with the family and he believes if he can just focus on the I will provide for my family if I can bring skin, I can build, you know, a, a house, I can bring food, then that's enough. So this next part that I want to mention briefly is the uh, A Saga Reborn, um, which was the special performance when the game was uh, officially un unveiled, I believe, um, around E3 2017. Um, this was actually created and uh, Koi actually mentioned it in the spoiler cast. But um, when he arrived in uh, Scandinavia, he was going through the forest and that's when he met Faye, um, who of course is the mother of Atreus. I'm not gonna uh, put the full video here because it is lengthy. I believe it's like a whole uh, seven minutes long. But I will have a link at the end of the video as well as a description and a card on your screen so you can check it out for yourself. Next up is a story I fairly much enjoyed and that's the digital comic number zero, the very first one that we got from Dark Horse. It is available on PSN if you would like to watch it there. Um, but uh, here is a rip I got from YouTube. I didn't record this. Um, I just found it and I'm showing to you guys. Basically, it's a fight with Kratos in the um, in the woods. Um, he goes to the woods to seek a challenge and then he finds wolves. He then says that the challenge is actually not fighting back. The challenge is to keep his own uh, rage in check. Um, and he was doing pretty well. Eventually, the three wolves that were attacking him tired themselves out. All he did was pretty much throw them off of him and let them attack. Um, however, a moment came where he actually thought he finally beat his rage. He was standing tall and the wolves were no longer attacking, but then a troll came out of absolutely nowhere. Um, at first, he told the trolls that he wanted no quarrel with them, but when they attacked, he told himself that this is the true test, that um, the beginning uh, with the wolves, he thought that that was a true test, but this is it, this is the moment for him to finally battle his rage and to not fight these trolls, but in the end, unfortunately for him, he failed. So at this point, the timeline is uh, Kratos arrives in Scandinavia, he meets Faye, has Atreus, and he stays away from the family, and then um, after that, he goes out and constantly um, um, fights this battle within himself. When he gets food, when he gets whatever he needs for his family, he also tries to keep the rage within him uh, down. Um, so that's pretty much all we have so far for this timeline. Um, as the comics do develop, we will get more stories um, about Kratos and Atreus and the people that they fight against. And um, I can't wait to see that as well to add this to the timeline. But again, if I missed anything outside of what I showed here, then please link me and you will always be um, in the description. Um, your name will always be there in the comments as well as someone who helped with this timeline series um, So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna be out of here. Thank you guys for listening deuces